New hammer, who's this? Get the buzz on what Thor's other hammer means for the future. We're taking your hashtag Marvel questions, so let's do it. Yes, this one asks, okay, what's the difference between Mjolnir, Stormbreaker, and Stormbreakers? It's a very good question, so let's uh, hammer it home. Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Langston. All right, let's start off with Mjolnir. Mjolnir, of course, is Thor's hammer created for him by Odin out of Uru, which is a magical metal from the heart of a dying star crafted by a dwarf in Nidavellir, obviously. Also, Mjolnir provides all of the powers that we know and love, which of course are transportation via the portal, smack and stuff, conducting lightning, and uh, of course, returning to sender. But also, it's enchanted so that you have to be worthy to wield it. Yes, it's very, very true. And a word about worthiness. So you know Odin's gonna do what Odin loves to do, and that's mess with his son's life. So he made Thor go mono, uh, horse face alien mono with uh, this alien Beta Ray Bill to see who was worthy of wielding Mjolnir. And Beta Ray Bill handed Thor a Beta Ray beatdown, but he didn't kill him because he's a really good guy. Never forget, Beta Ray Bill, he's, he's always gonna be up. a very sportsman-like gentleman. He gave him a hand, helped him up. But like Odin was like, now I gotta reward you for A, besting my son and not killing him. So uh, <laughs> he had the dwarves make a brand new hammer and that is Stormbreaker. And it is wielded by Beta Ray Bill because he's too worthy. He's so worthy, bursting with worthiness. And in the spirit of sharing power with those that are truly worthy, we have Stormbreakers. I'm talking plural. Stormbreakers is the next evolution of Marvel's Young Guns program, showcasing the next generation of influential Marvel artists. And much like Beta Ray Bill needed to be worthy to wield Stormbreaker, we have eight Marvel artists who have proven themselves worthy to be dubbed elite Marvel artists as Marvel's Stormbreakers. These artists are so special because they are, they're smashing limits, they're shattering ceilings, and they're gonna make a huge, huge impact with their work in Lorraine. And I wanted to show you some of their work and introduce them by name. So here we go. First up, we have Natacho Bustos, Juan Cabal, Carmen Carnero, Josh Casara, Iban Coelho, Pat Gleason. Peach Momoko. And R.B. Silva. As you can see, all of these amazing artists are using their uh, dynamic style and innovative artwork to craft all new stories that resonate with fans all over the world. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for their work throughout the year. I cannot wait to see everything that is going to come from these folks because they are so talented, they are so distinctive, and they've already made a huge impact I think with fans across the world. So I can't wait to see what they do this year. Yes, it's nice for the House of Ideas to have some some new tenants essentially. And uh, we'll yeah. get, I mean, you, new artists. New artists means new, new interpretations of your favorite Marvel uh, characters, locations, artifacts like Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. Who knows, the, the sky's the limit, it's gonna be great. You guys can learn even more about Marvel Stormbreakers over on marvel.com. And would you rather wield Mjolnir or Stormbreaker? Tell us, you wanna know. And if you have another Marvel question, you wanna know that too. But just make sure you use that hashtag, Marvel Questions. There you go. I'm Lorraine. I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, hey, like this, leave us a comment and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Don't forget to ding that bell to get updates about new episodes and click that box over there to watch us answer more of your Marvel questions. Hey, Langston, do you prefer uh, Stormbreaker or Mew Mew? I'm sorry, Stormbreaker or? Mew Mew.